Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Monday morning, April 3rd, and we are looking at Window Trader's market profile for the, for, of the ES and SPY. So nice finish to the quarter on Friday <clears throat> as the S&P closes up 7%, NASDAQ almost 17%. We all went out with either triple or quadruple distribution days in the NQ and ES, not so much for the righty, but very impressive for the NASDAQ as they have an outside month up. Now this morning early, uh, they're taking back some of those distributions. Well, at least they took back right now early. Again, it's only pre-market, but that first distribution, they're playing in the, in the third distribution there, right above where the other single prints are. So we'll see how that plays out. Uh, the NASDAQ, uh, the Russell, remember, did not have a trend day on Friday. They did have an afternoon pullback low in uh, K. They're trading right around value high. As far as the S&P, we've been trading mostly in the upper distribution. We've had, we had three distributions on Friday. We dip below M singles, but right now, for the most part, we're playing in the upper distribution, which is positive. My line in the sand... I think pretty much is F's high. That's where the market spiked from on Friday. You would like to hold that. If you don't hold that, you should at least test the afternoon pullback in I, which is towards the lower end of the middle distribution. E is the lower end of that. So that would be a level that <clears throat> we would certainly trade at if we come back below F's high. As far as the game plan for this morning, well, again, we have 75 minutes to go, but that's a perfect risk reward long if we were to pull back against the overnight low and F's high. If you get the overnight low and F's high, you can get out and reassess. If they taper off down there, and again, these algos set their parameters to certain things, maybe that's all they want to hit, that might hold, and then we stay in the upper distribution. So that is definitely one area for long. Okay, I would try another one at I and E's low. I would definitely do that, but at that point, value might be unchanged at that time. As far as the short, again, depending on where the overnight high is now, I use the maintenance period from Friday, so that's basically just slightly above Friday's high. That's what I would use as my overnight high. I know most people will only use around this level, but regardless, I'd probably take a short against that, and I'd be out if they were to get above that maintenance high on Friday. Again, all early plays. And then... Just quickly, on the chart, as we start the second quarter, the monthly is in a five-month balance. So even if we take out Friday's high, which is the monthly high, we're not coming out of balance. We have to take out last month's high of 418.31. Now, again, I think the bulls have pretty good odds of doing that at some point. Okay? And then we'll see if they get acceptance above there and keep the monthly up. But right now, the monthly is still balanced. The weekly is clearly up. Their next destination is that 418.31 high of January 30th week. And the daily is also up. So the bulls have everything in their control. They've stopped that lower high trend line from this year. Again, the volume was one of the sore points for the bulls last year. There's only one part of our wheel, right? One spoke. But at some point, I think for this to be a sustainable rally, you're going to need some longer-term money to come into this market. Thanks for the likes and subscribing. Good luck trading today, and we'll recap at 4 p.m.